welcome back to a new video so pretty much where we left off in the last one since then I bought these little dollies it's just so I can move the car around without having to start up or be in the way and because it's so darn hot today I decided just to do something that's not involving sanding in a mask so I just stripped out all my door pulled out all the trims around the top there and just filled up my box with all the door, door stuff so yeah, about to clean all the stuff. There has been rust, weirds of rust on here. But it's only surfaced, a um, little bit there. Um, ages ago when I first got the car, I actually filled the bottom up rust proofing when I got it. And yeah, so most of it's pretty good. Just a little bit of surface rust, which is nothing to worry about, just around these little areas. So once again, I'll just clean it out the best I can and just Spray some cody wax and all that sort of stuff in there. Just finished easing out all the dents of my paintless dent removal glue kit. So now I'm planning to start blocking it, blocking back the surfaces. And this bottom piece I'm going to strip back to metal because of the little stone chips that are, you can see. And there's a bit of webbing rust underneath the paint. So that way it eliminates any of that coming back once it's painted. So it's only going to be up to about there, and then the rest of it's just going to be blocked back. Just finished blocking back this main panel of my door. I haven't bothered to strip this back to bare steel until I actually do the final, with the proper prime up. So yeah, not one bit of bog being found on this, which is wicked. And the funny little paint blend they had sort of ended in here is really weird. I only went to there and then there's nothing. And it's straight through just factory paint. I'm pretty stoked about that. Less to strip back. And just gone through the edges here, just taking off the little bits of rust underneath the paint. So the spiderweb rust which is creeping underneath. And same with down that edge. So I'm just gonna spray by bits of grey over the metal bits and then that'll be it for tonight. Stripped off all the paint off the bottom of my door now. And I've found there's quite a few holes going through here. Mainly there, there, and a couple here. Most it's pretty clean at the bottom here. There is a little bit of rust lurking in between the skins. You can't really see it. Um, most it's pretty clean through here. A little bit around that hole. Mainly around the holes. You can see a little bit coming through there. Now this is probably the worst bit underneath. Got all this stuff here with some holes, but there's actually skins actually raised up, so it's actually bubbling underneath on on this internal skin underneath. So I'm going to try and attempt to roll the uh, lip around and clean out the best I can, and fill it with the old rust neutralizer or something like that. Come down here, not too bad. A little bit more through that area. It's just where the drain holes are, eh? And a little bit in this corner here so I might lift it up to about there and see what we find so here we have it started pulling back this lip of the door skin and yeah she's rusty even if it looks like a very tidy door as you've seen the outside is very tidy and even this looks tidy but open that up and she's all like that to be honest, it's like that in every seam of the car, but these are renowned for rusting out the bottom. So I'm going to clean out the best I can. So hopefully it's a long time before that ever happens. All nice and clean in between these layers now. It's been a long time cleaning this all out. A few little holes through that area as, in, as expected. Same with these areas. I'm just going to fill them up some weld and grind them. Um, clean the best I can between those two layers, which have come out pretty good. To be honest, the inside piece wasn't as bad as the outside. Maybe because I put the brush stuff in there, but it also might be just a little more protected. So, there's still a little bit of surface rust in there, but um, I've done the best I can. It's going to be a whole lot better than what it is. Going up around here the best I can. Can't quite get in the corner behind there. But um, yeah, very, very happy with how it's come out. So, now I'm going to weld up these bits and then fill it with rust neutralizer, fold the flange back over and 
carry on from where I was before. Finished folding this flange around now, so it's back to how it was before I started. Before the rust neutralizer inside the seam. So yeah, pretty much done for now tonight. And yeah, just spent the time just tapping up that real nice, flip the door over, tapped it, tapped it down on the outside. So it's all um nice and flat again, no ripples or anything. Into the next door now, so all very much the same as the last door. Just another rubber, you can see a bit of rust coming all the way through. It's the rusty stain, so it's gonna be exactly the same. Peel this bottom piece apart. Well, pull, yeah, pull it back and around. Um, it's not too bad through here. I actually think this door might have been painted before because it's quite white inside those. And also, looking through here is cracked paint. Just in the cellar, like it's been painted over, not factory. That's the right. There's a bit of staining of rust coming through there. But yeah, once again, there's no cellar through there, which normally is through that area. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what comes of this door. I think there is some filler on the edge here because it appears to look a lot thicker than the other side once again we'll block it down and see what appears hopefully not but let's see what happens this door isn't as bad as the other door so just been giving it a scrape out and a quick little buzz over this thing and that changed the little wheel over on it so it's a bit smaller because it's quite big and hefty but I'm gonna carry on cleaning through here. This end's a whole lot better than that end. It's a whole lot cleaner. Um, so that, that's good. Even though it doesn't look that pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up. Second door's all clean along the bottom now. So just cleaned it out the best I could. She's all looking good. And tried to clean out the best I could between the seams. As you can see it's all metal through there and I'm going to spray my rust neutralizer um, in between and let that go off a bit and then do another coat and then fold the flange around so that it's wet when it's been folded over so it doesn't crack and be bare steel. Door's looking all good now. So finished all this up, cleaned up, tapped it up, and just have gone around all these edges, taken out all the sealer all the way around, and just took out some of the little scratch marks that were in here, and scotched around all the areas so there's no shiny. And now I'm about to wipe it down with some prep salt and just spray a bit of grey in these areas. Just so it doesn't rust until it comes to time painting. Put some rust neutralizer in that crack. Um, there's a little bit tinge of rust in the seam. So yeah, over overall it's pretty good though. It's mainly just that bottom piece and that that I've noticed the rust and a little bit of staining in the edges there, but that's nothing to worry about. I've flipped my door over now and stripped it right back. So this is the factory black coating that they have on the doors when you buy them brand new. And it actually had this grey primary stuff all over it. I guess it's called a wet on wet primer before you put the colour on. Um, so I've stripped it right off because there's a few little bubbles which I don't like the look of. So I thought it was safer just to strip it right back to the factory black coat. So no bog in here at all. Just straight metal and the factory black coat so yeah strip this all the way back to bare metal through this piece here and all up around here just strip it back just to make it all nice and clean so tomorrow I'll get primed up one door is all primed so our painter done it yesterday when he was doing another job this one isn't but um, this one had a lot more bare metal so I just want to get done this one I'll need to strip off up around the top. In the meanwhile, I decided to venture back onto the roof and I've popped out the sunroof and actually cleaned all around there to bare metal. So that she quite a bit of spiderweb rust underneath the paint crawling around. So I've cleaned all the way out, all the way around 
on each side. So I'm actually thinking possibly of dropping this whole unit out. Don't know yet, but it was a thought after discovering small rust. Over here. Got all this on here and overspray. So I was thinking if I drop it out, it's going to be easy to mask to, and I can sort out all that once it's out. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but yeah. So yeah, there's a small spiderweb rust underneath the paint. So I'm going to strip off all the front and a couple of areas on the back where you can see um, little spots of rust. So underneath there, there'll be webbing of rust. Just start on removing the sunroof mechanism big panel thing so just got these 10 more bolts and hopefully it drops out without that sealer being too hard roof mechanism is all out now so I've had to cut through all the sealer stuff to release it as you can see up there it goes all the way around and you can see up there all the exposed steel which is never covered from the factory hasn't got any paint or anything just bare metal and it's yeah, not real rusty but certainly not nice on the back corners. It's just where the moisture is too when it rains. It'll... Yeah. So I'm surprised the roofs don't rust out more than what they do. So yes, yeah, given good access up there. Give a ch good chance to clean up all that roof, which I'm not really looking forward to. But... Just had a bit of a quick vacuum in here, sucked out all the crap that was all laying around and pulled everything out. So jumping in here, if we go up. I've just been scraping away all the sealer that's up and around there. All this stuff. It's all stuck on there. And a close look at the rust in there. I'm going to clean all that back tonight. And rust neutralise it. Everything else is pretty good. It's just that piece back there where there's no paint. Just clean this back to metal the best I could. And now it's going to get some rust neutraliser. Clean this lip back too. So a nice fresh start along that piece so nothing's going to creep around the corner. Nice and covered up now, it's been raining so just trying to keep the moisture out. This is where I'm going to leave this video off. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.